With interest rates rising, should you be fixing your home loan or home loans or should you keep them variable? In this video, I'll go over the forward curve or the future curves of interest rates, official cash rate, lending rate, variable rate, fixed rates, so you can make your own mind up whether you should switch to fixed or if it's too late to do that. So if you're interested in that, carry on watching. My name is PK and I help people build passive income using the property investment accelerator, using data without needing a $15,000 buyer's agent every single time. If you're new to this channel, smash the subscribe button because we talk about the economy, we talk about property investment, we talk about financial happiness. Give it a thumbs up, I would super appreciate it. Let's go. So what you're seeing in front of you is the implied interest rates as of basically this week. Okay, you're seeing the RPA cash rate forecast, you're seeing the variable rate mortgage forecast across the different banks, and you're seeing the three-year fixed rate mortgage. Okay, so the blue line, RBA cash rate forecast implied green variable mortgage for new loans, blue variable mortgage for existing loans, and yellow three-year mortgage <clears throat> fixed for new loans home loans. Okay, so the first thing I want to say before you kind of get into this is two or three things. The first thing I want to say is that there is more to just saving interest when it comes to building a property portfolio. Of course, you've got to be able to make those repayments. But when you fix a home loan, you're effectively saying, I don't want to be able to refinance that loan with another bank or in some instances even with the same bank in other words i have no anticipation that the equity or my house price will rise and therefore i don't want to refinance take that additional money that capital growth use it for another deposit and that's kind of foolhardy because we know that there's markets within markets we know that sydney melbourne <clears throat> are tanking we know that brisbane's just shifting just sliding down especially in the premium markets and we also know contrary to what the media is saying that regional queensland is booming that regional new south wales is booming that large parts of perth you can't even get a property even if you try it you know it's just it's just it's like seagulls to one french fry on a lazy summer's day at the beach like there's a lot of competition so you know you need to make these interest rate decisions based on true data not just ah oh, look recession's coming everything's going to tank that doesn't really happen and even if recessions come in the australian housing market they've never dropped more than four or seven percent since the last 50 years even in recessionary period so uh, i've done other videos on that but let's get back to the point that's the first consideration that you need to understand the second consideration consideration is that all these future curves or forward curves or projections or estimations or forecasts of interest rates of the official cash rate you know this is a really important thing to understand every time the consensus of market or analysts or you could say the top 12 investment banks they forecast what official cash rates will be in one year two year three years four years they never actually end up being that high that is proven if you go back in the last 50 years you find that the projections are always 30 percent more than what actually transpires so even this chart i want you to take with a super 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 heavy grain of salt but let's get into it <clears throat> okay, so the official cash rate from the RBA right now is 1.35. The market, and when we say the market, we don't say people like you and me, chums. We talk about the investment banks, the 12 investment banks. The market is estimating that it will go up by 50 basis points or 0.5%, and it will continue to go up till the end of this year, and basically it will flatten out after that, okay? So assuming you don't refinance none of that fancy stuff, you have an existing loan, you're probably paying around 4% right now. I mean, correct me if I'm wrong, tell me if you are if you want what interest rate you're paying in the comments, but you're paying probably around 4% right now, which historically is very, very low, you know, very, very low, okay? And as the official cash rate goes up, your loan rate 
will also go up because it's on a variable basis, okay? It's going to go up, according to this, by the end of the year to around 6%. But here's the thing, you know, that is only for existing customers. If you say CBA, look, by the way, you know, I have nothing against CBA, but CBA, you know, to hell with you, I'm going to go to ANZ. Well, ANZ, you know, I'm, I'm going to go to Pepper Money or, um, you know, Macquarie, I'm going to go to Bankwest or St. George or whatever. If you refinance, you get this benefit of jumping down the ladder, getting a lower rate. And that's what this means. Variable mortgage new. Okay, because banks right now are clamoring, they're so competitive, they're trying to steal or fight for a smaller pie and they're trying to expand their slice of the pie. Okay, it's like the large size of the pizza, all of a sudden in a contracted national housing market, that large size of pizza is actually only a medium now. So banks, they want to maintain their profit pool, so they need a larger slice of a smaller pizza than they had before compared to the bigger yeah uh, hopefully you're making this is making sense you understand so they're trying to fight um, for your business so make sure you call your bank and you get down from this light blue line to this green line let's assume that you do that you're on top of your finances you have a good mortgage broker you this green line is really what you should be experiencing okay and so if you compare this green line like right now okay 2.8 percent or around three percent for new customers not existing customers new customers and right now if you were to fix your home loan you know at three-year fixed mortgage 5.6 but like this is not financial advice. I'm not qualified to tell you what to do, but it's kind of bleedingly obvious, right? If you can get a 2.8% variable loan, why would you go for a 5.6% fixed loan given that the market projections, even at the highest amount in the next two years, is only 5.28%. 5.28 is much lower than 5.66. And remember what I've just said, market projections are always, always, always over inflated. In fact, I just did a video how inflation is just now peaking. And actually, you know, a lot of commentators, a lot of really qualified and good, you know, people with good track records, not just the market, they are saying that the you know, the RBA will railroad, they just, you know, regardless of what happens, they just want to get that official cash rate to 2.5%, and then that will start coming down again. It won't even reach 2.75%, it won't even reach 3.16%. They'll just railroad it, push it hard, as fast as they can, just because they're playing catch up on basically falling asleep at the wheel. They'll railroad it up to 2.5%, and even CBA reckon that after 2.5%, look, the neutral is probably between 1.5 and 2 or, or two and a half. So look, even these projections are quite extraordinarily large. So I want you to understand the fact that, and once again, it's not financial advice, but good chances are that you're throwing your money away to the banks if you are fixing right now on a three-year basis. And why haven't I given a one-year basis, two-year basis? I mean, you know, you can do that, but there's not that much extra security. You know, when you fix a loan, you're basically saying, I have a super low risk appetite. I don't want to grow my portfolio. I don't want, I want to know exactly what my cash flows will be for the next three years. What's a, if you, that's your mindset, you don't know, if, you're not going to fix for just one or two years, right? It just doesn't make sense. You want that surety. You want that comfort, sleep at night factor, that as the US goes into recession, as Australia may have a technical recession, that I know exactly how much I'm paying. But look, I'm going to do the next video on a really interesting um, topic of the US is in recession technically, will Australia follow and how will that impact Australian house prices? Because the answer is not what you may think. If you want that video, comment yes below. And if you got value from this video, I'd super appreciate it if you smash the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. And guys, always remember that before you invest in anything or you, before you make any investment decisions, invest in yourself, okay? Because knowledge is power and this, you know, these six inches between your two ears, that is the most important valuable real estate that you will ever, ever own. That is the truth. Okay, so level up, I'll leave links below to the Facebook group where these types of discussions happen, more than 20,000 people, and also to my podcast on Apple, Google Podcasts, and Spotify in the comments below. My name's PK, catch you later.